Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Scholar and we are still here on the plains of Dagalad where we have to find the missing spears and we get our first combat opportunity maybe a little bit more than I had wanted Yeah, and so therefore, have a little test out. Now, if you notice at the last of the previous episode, they did show us a leveling flash. That was to signify that we reached level four. I know we are modded up to level 110 here, but that was to give us a couple extra skills because there was a complaint during the testing was that using level one only skills was just too much of a pain so they at least gave us some benefit of still making it less than level five but giving us at least a little bit of variation swifting now this way all right let's follow now today's topic is going to be plugins and that's because I know people are going to be asking what plugins I use and the like so I thought this would be appropriate the spears of Linden have held against Sauron's forces but they fight a desperate battle all right so I figure that this would be a oh yeah that this would be a good topic to talk about our plugins and the like it's not quite language lore and linguistics but it at least answers some questions about that people may be having on the interface I'm using one of the Gwetherine rode westward and scattered our numbers but the other he took Theleron all right so it looks like they stole one of our members yes quickly speak quickly friend for our foes searches from the east aha the Gwetherine two of their number passed through our garrison from the north one rode westward and scattered our numbers, but the other, he took Veleron. In the midst of the battle, he caught Veleron's sword arm in a cruel coil of rope and dragged him eastward by his fell steed. I could not follow though the ma through the mass of orcs. I failed him. I failed the High King, but I still I must fight on. Right, and I'll let us see what Megariel has to say here. Aid the wounded in the field, and let us hope that the Alliance shall arrive to drive off the enemy's forces. Hail San Diego. I am Megriel of Linden. How fare you in the battles in the north? Mm hmm, so the Gretheron. Yes, if we shall truly strike at the Black Gate this day, the Alliance must soon come hither. We did as the High King commanded, and brought the enemy's weapons to ruin. But when the Gwethron appeared, they slew many of our number, and divided our forces upon the Daggerlad. The faces by which I once knew the Gwethron, when they first took the rings, have long faded. But this one I knew by his blade. The Cursed Rider he is called and he goaded his steed onward over the backs of elf, men, and orc alike. Regrettably, we were forced into retreat before we could aid many of them in the field of battle. We now struggle to hold the only path over the great trenches, and the enemy's forces have brought forth more trebuchets and ballista upon the Daggerlad. Aid the wounded in the field, and let us hope that the Alliance shall arrive to drive off the enemy forces. Alright, so I need to aid them, and that is in this direction, because if I go the other way, I shall quickly be squished. So let's go against these. Alright, now, I used the standard interface at the beginning, in other words, I don't have too many things that change the skin or anything like that. I do have one that's related to the dressing room to enlarge it, but other than that, standard interface. Okay. 
and there we go good that is two freed but I do use a number of plugins now the first one I use is one that's called buff bars now buff bars has not been updated in a while I'll have to tell you that but it does give information that I'd like to keep track of it shows here any buffs I have it also shows any debuffs and also if I get a wound or anything like that it it pops up a button that I could press in order to dismiss it if I wish to do that alright so now I need to rescue Prince Thondriel who is down in this direction and and Thranduil is, I believe, the Prince of Mirkwood at this point. There is no escape for you. See you now the fate of those who defy my master. The Dark Lord holds no power over me, Wraith. Prince of the Woodland Realm. Okay. In other words, the Greenwood then, later called Mirkwood. By the fate sealed or not, we will continue. Fool! Wheels can be broken, Thrandril of Greenwood, and this blade will do it. Oh, what is this? The accursed spawn of Unguilerthi, you think to threaten me? Sauron shall not forgive her this time. So these spiders are spawn of Shelob, I would presume, is that they mean by the daughter of a Goliath. Yeah, he used a slightly different name, but that's probably the dark speech name for a Goliath. Oops. Oh, th this, this can be tough. I, I better heal myself. Of course, my heal might not work all that well, considering that I'm currently... Made effectively when. Yeah, that. That's right. I think they have toned down healing a little bit in, in the update, and of course this is a relatively light heal as it is. So therefore, I don't think it scales all that well. But it looks like I am healed enough. So I guess I can't complain too much about that. But anyway, yes, he's the Prince of the Greenwood, though later on he okay, he's hurt a little bit. Uh, later on, of course, he does become the king there because he is the father is a the, yeah, Thranduil is the father of Legolos. There's Glorfindel, and here is Elrond, our old friend Elrond. The prince is fortunate to have survived his father's attack on the Black Gate. But the Guatheran's words troubled him. The writer spoke a name in Quenya ere he departed. Uguithari, the Spider Queen. Ugoliant is gone from this realm and shall trouble the world no longer. But her children remain, preying on anything they can devour and spreading her darkness through Middle-earth. When among them must now hunger as she did, Without a care for the power of the Dark Lord, or without any purpose other than to consume. Now, this demonstrates one of the reasons why I read quest text. Because, as you can see, during the conversation that was up there, I misunderstood what he meant by Ungulari. Um, Ungwatari. But Elrond just now clarified it. And now we know that it says that. This means the children of Ungoliant. And of course, I'm assuming that they mean Shelob because Shelob did settle in this area. And Shelob would be the logical spider then to be the daughter because Shelob is the last daughter of Ungoliant. That is clear from the, from the two towers. These are unhappy tidings, my friend. Even if it seems fortuitous that the great spiders turned upon the rider. 
if we do not face the child of Ungoliant in the war, it is certain that the day will come when her hunger shall seek to sate itself beyond the shadows of Mordor. The High King gave me leave to pursue you at the urging of the Spears of Linden, and he has called for you to return at once. The Alliance has come to the forward garrison at last. Reunite with them there, Sun Yellow, and make ready the assault on the Black Gate. All right. Time for an assault on the Black Gate, right? Yeah, like that's going to happen. Uh, oh. Even more forward. Okay. Forward then. Okay, and here. Where are we talking? Oh, yes, plugins. So, therefore, I use buff bars in order to show me these things. Now, it does have a third function of a slider, but I don't like the slider. Elrond spoke true. The High King and Elendil have come at last. But I don't like the slider feature, so I'll, I always turn it off. And, but I do keep the buff display here. Sometimes I turn some of them off, like if I'm constantly using it. So, therefore... If I have something that's constantly used, I might just drop it if it's not enough, not useful to me. And we'll see later when things pop up with potion suppress or something like that. It's because I set it up as a reaction thing in there. So there anyway, that's buff bars, and that is the first one that I generally bring in as, as plug-in whenever I start the game. Our paths are now divided, dear friend. May I am glad to see. Valar shine upon us. I am glad to see you again, Sun Yellow. Durnieth and Mergril have told me of Thelerun's capture, and I am troubled by such grim tidings. The Dark Lord will not soon forgotten the wounds he suffered by at our hands, and I fear that from his vengeance might take. Even now, as I wish to abandon my duty, I cannot turn my eyes from the Black Gate at such a crucial hour. Thus, I give you this mission of dire importance. You must find Theleron, and you must save him from the Grethren. As for the Alliance, one of Durin's folk has devised a cunning plan to draw the attention of the Dark Lord's forces and allow for a swift strike against the Black Gate. In truth, I know not if this is a plan that should bear fruit, but... We must conquer the gate if Sauron is to be defeated. I would ask that you speak with Slegar the Crafty. He is an honorable enough dwarf, and despite his chosen title, once you have done as he asks, pursue the Gwathran and rescue Thelron. Now you note, his chosen title. That's another thing where names can be useful, going back to the last episode, where he took the... The nickname The Crafty. And our paths are now divided, my friend. But let us hope each of them lead to victory. May the light of the Valar shine upon us. I should note the second modification I like to do that I forgot to do, and that is now this isn't a plug in, uh, this is a modification I do, and that is that I generally remove trade world and LFF from my general tab because it's very spammy all that goes on there. When I do want to see them, I generally create a, a, ter a different tab for that so that I could take care of it. So that way, see all the chatter that died down as a result of me turning that off. Ah, and here is the Crafty Dwarf. At your service. Or perhaps you are at mine. Ah, uh, yes. Well, at least we have a truceful dwarf here, if he says you may be at mine, because, you know, inevitably, you are at their service. Ah, uh, yes. Have you considered how the enemy's trenches never seem to stop burning? Well, I have. Hmm. These barrels are filled with a crude black powder that explodes when exposed to flame. Not only that, but it burns for hours afterwards. I. If it were more useful than stonework, I think Durin himself would have s would steal some of this away. The Dark Lord's Black Riders, those, those ring raids, as the men call them, 
they're wily enough, but these goblins are none too bright. They've left barrels right next to their own ballasty and catapults. Why don't you set some of them off? Uh, that ought to put an end to their siege and draw their attention long enough for the Alliance to reach the Black Gate. Just make sure you don't stick around once you like them. Well, I suppose that's a idea to try. Very well. That, that quest ring there is not anything that is uh, useful, so let's continue and uh, blow up uh, some ballasty. Now the second one I would like to highlight of my various plugins is Titan Bar. And that's the one that is on the top. And that has all sorts of useful stuff on it. Now, it is also not being maintained anymore. Boom. Yeah, that, that took care of that ballista pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, a greenie. Yeah, the greenies go down very fast. Ah, ah, oh, yeah, this will do. All right. So therefore, I use Titan Bar. It's not maintained, but it maintains its use despite that. And what it does is, it gives you a bar that summarizes your stuff. It tells you how much money you've got. So if you ever wondered about that, now you might not necessarily want that. So you can turn that off if you want. But it also tells you. Not only how much money you currently have, but how much every character you have on the server has, how much you've got in your shared storage, total amount, the amount you've earned during the current session, and the amount you've earned during the day, earned, spent, and your current total. So, yes, that is... That can be useful, especially if you're when to get something and you're wondering, oh, do I have a character that has enough money? Well, that will tell you right away. There we go. And the next thing is, it can tell you what's in your backpack. Now, you may be wondering, why in the world do you care what's in your backpack? Well, you can also change this tab here and look at what's in the backpack of any of your characters. Now, you had to have logged into the character and viewed the, their backpack since installing Titan Bar, since it stores it in memory, since it doesn't have access to that character's information. So if you go into the game without Titan Bar, move around your inventory, leave, then yeah, it's going to show you what was there last when that character. Maybe I shouldn't stay so close. Uh, when that character was last logged in with Titan Bar loaded. Now, since I use the plugin manager in order to keep buff bars, daily tasks, and Titan Bar all loaded, then there's no problem with that. It's always loaded on my character. And you also have this for your bank vault. Now, I have nothing in my vault since I haven't visited a vault yet. And your shared storage. So, therefore, if I'm not at a vault, then I could easily get the information I need on my shared storage. Because I don't want to go all the way out of my way to a vault and then find I don't have there. But what's most useful, though, is being able to look at what's in the vaults of your other characters. But right now, I don't have data there, but I could look at what I have for my other characters there. So that's useful. Then I also keep track of my total marks and medallions. Oh yes, I've got these footprints I'm supposed to be following it, don't I? Or hoof prints, I presume is uh, more likely. Alright, here we go. And let's get across here. And follow the hoof prints all the way through. And soon we'll find something and we run into an elf. So the yellow. Can it be? Yes, it can be. Follow me. The Lady Hartholian wants to speak with you. Ooh, I wonder what she has to say. Let us head forward. 
I have not found Thelaron or the Gothran, but a familiar elf stands before me, and that is, of course, Harthaline. I presume that she has something very important to say, but I don't have time to find out at the moment. Speaking of time, those are the last two important things that you get on Titan Bar, where it can give you the in-game time, the phase of the day it is, and how many minutes it is till the next phase. So even though I'm in an instance where time really doesn't matter, we can see that in the remaining world it's the afternoon and it's eight minutes till the dusk phase. You could use that in certain quests. And we also can display either real time or server time up here. So therefore, you keep track of how much time you've been spending in the game and the like. Now, I do have another one I use that's daily tasks, but that's not gonna mean anything until I start to do tasks, so we'll save that one for later. Because I'm out of time today, and when we return next time, we will finish this opening instance when we return to Piney Plays, The Scholar.